Hello, I'm Makia Rai. Right now, I'm in Kabukicho in Tokyo's Shinjuku Ward. Kabukicho is known as Japan's biggest entertainment district, and it's also visited by many foreign tourists. And this time, I'll be bringing you the show from Tokyo Kabukicho Tower, which just opened this April, and is being touted as the biggest facility of its kind, with hotels and a range of entertainment. I'm here with Mune Iguchi of Tokyo Corporation. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Would you talk to us about the concept of this tower? The concept is what we call believing your preference. Typically, a big facility like this often has business offices and fashion related stores as tenants. But here, we only have hotels and entertainment. So that makes it a very unique facility in Japan. You don't have any apparel or fashion brands as tenants? We don't have any. The top floors are occupied by hotels, as well as a movie complex and a theater. And on the basement level, we have a night entertainment facility, what you could call a club. So whether it's day or night, and from night to the morning the whole day, you can choose your preferred entertainment. Do you see many visitors from overseas? We do. Every day, we welcome many foreign tourists. The biggest number is from the US, followed by those from the Asian region. Are most of them younger? We do get a lot of young customers, and it wasn't what we initially expected, so we're a bit surprised. For many Japanese, they don't visit Kabukicho unless they have a specific purpose. But many people from overseas come to the area with their families and stay for an extended time. Since opening, you've had a steady stream of customers? Yes. We opened on April 14th of this year, and in about a month, visitor numbers surpassed 1 million. And we're still seeing a very steady flow of customers from all over. That many! Right now, I'm with Tomoaki Igawa of Hotel Group Shinjuku, a Park Royal Hotel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We're on the 35th floor, and the view is amazing. It is. If you look out, you can see Sky Tree to the right, and in front, all the way from Tokyo to Saitama Prefecture. This way? Yes, you get an unobstructed view. You're right, a full view. And if you look down slightly, you can see trains arriving and departing from Seibu Shinjuku Station right from your room. This would be great for train fans. I agree. And many guests have been impressed with this view. I want to look around this room a bit more. And this is quite impressive. They're cassette tapes. They are. It's pretty amazing. At our hotel, we designed the rooms to showcase the history of Kabukicho Shinjuku and to experience the art and music that's being created in the area. This is one of the art rooms that was designed by three artists. We simply call it cassette tape. Can you actually play these tapes? Yes. You can! These cassette tapes were made by a musician called Yoshiaki Kaihatsu, and he created music themed on the name of our hotel, Hotel Groove, and also recorded sounds on the streets of Shinjuku. You can play the tapes and listen to them on a cassette player. What's the title of this? This is from Adidas to Beam's Big Camera. Let me play it for you. Okay. In this way, you can enjoy the sounds of this neighborhood. The room has three cassette players, and you can use one to play these kinds of sounds, and another for music, and also music and music so you can get an auditory experience of Shinjuku inside the room. 
That's one of the features of this room. A quiet hotel room is definitely something I want, but these sounds are fascinating. They are. The sounds of the streets. How should I put it? They're works of art. Guests who stay in this room listen to these pieces, relax, enjoy the scenery, and check out. How much is it a night? This room starts at around $380 a night for one or two people. That's quite steep. <laughs> it's a room that was designed by artists, so it's slightly more expensive than the other rooms. But it is an art room after all and stimulates your five senses. Exactly. Some of our guests from overseas stay for extended periods, and they prefer rooms like this. It's also perfect for people who come to Shinjuku to have fun and enjoy themselves. So fun outside in Shinjuku and fun inside the room. Exactly. It's a space where you can enjoy the many sounds of Shinjuku. Yes, how should I put it? You go outside and have fun and bring that excitement back to the room. And also enjoy the room. I want to show you something else that you won't find in other rooms. Have a look at this. What is it? A washing machine? Yes. I explained to you earlier, but some of our overseas guests stay for longer periods. So our hotel has several rooms that are equipped with a washing machine. That's pretty rare. It is. For people who do stay for an extended time, this is really a necessity, so it's been a big draw. It'll definitely be one reason to choose this hotel. We think so. That means foreign visitors are a big target customer. They are. About 80% of our guests now are from overseas. And many of them are families or couples coming here for leisure. So exactly your target customer. Yes. Which places do they come from? Asia, of course, but also many from the U.S. and Australia. From all over? Yes, from all over the world. I have to say, this is a hotel to really enjoy central Tokyo. It's a great place. We believe so.